Hello everyone! Welcome to our 50 subscriber special of My Time at Portia. We just created our character and we are sailing directly into Portia now. We're coming up on Portia. Whoa, that looks beautiful! What are you going to do there? Rune diving? Something like that. We get someone like you once in a while, always seeking that adventure. Good to be young. Oh, look at us just diving off the dock. Well, good luck to you. Thanks. All right. So now it's kind of interesting because some people pronounce it my time at Portia and some pronounce it my time at Portia. And of course, <laughs> the NPCs do it both ways. Pip. Presley, how do you do? Good to see you again. Hope you had a pleasant journey from Bannerock, right? That's quite far. Yeah. Anyway, I'm here to show you to your workshop. So if you would, please follow me. It's pretty close. I wonder what it's like. I didn't get to know my pa too well. No one's been working there since your pa left Portia so many years ago. He was a good friend. Yeah. Okay, Presley, lead the way. So our adventure begins. Now, this is kind of my second attempt at recording this, so we'll see how well this goes. And here we are, your workshop. This place sure seen some wear and tear. What do you think? Looks homey. Now then, here's a letter from your father. He asked me to present it to you when you've seen this house. Pip, when you read this letter, I will already be on the other side of the world. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that I'm not the father you wanted me to be. This was all so sudden. I didn't have much time to tell you or figure out how to take care of you. Then I thought about this workshop. It might not look like much now, but it'll brace you from the wind and cover you from the rain. I have left my workshop handbook that details how I created things in my workshop. The rest is up to you. Do your best and live a wonderful life. You will always be my pride and joy, Pa. Here's the workshop handbook of your paws. Take your time and come to the Porsche Commerce Guild tomorrow. It's located around Peach Plaza. You can't miss it. As much as I'd like to give you a builder's license right away, you'll need to prove your worth through a couple of tests. Got it. Tomorrow. Anyway, I'll leave you be. Get some rest. Bye, Presley. Thanks for your help. Okay, let the day begin. <laughs> this house is so worn. I need to fix it or I won't get a good night's sleep. Oh my goodness, look at all the holes in the floor. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> I think the goal of this episode will be to get the bridge done to Amber Island, I believe it's called. And then uh, I think maybe every 50 subscribers, we will pop on back here and go until we get like another big event done. Just going to go and collect some stuff to help us on our way here. Get us some tools built. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. Oh, we got mail today and everything. Because <laughs> I don't think we'll do a full let's play of this, at least not right away. Hello, new subscriber. This is the Porsche Times. We are sponsored by the city government and the local Commerce Guild branch to bring you the latest news in our city for free. We are a monthly publication, so papers will be sent out on the first day of each month. If you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to visit our office on Main Street, Porsche Times. Yeah, unfortunately, I just don't have the time to take on another full Let's Play at the moment. I know that uh, 
Ruth's Apacha is supposed to be getting a really big update at the end of July, so I really want to do some coverage on that too, so I'm kind of trying to see if I can balance my time around because, oh my goodness, time is uh, definitely that rare commodity. I never seem to have enough of it to do everything that I would like. But I will do my best to see what we can actually get done. Here we go, gathering more stone, and then we'll have to see if we can go craft our tools. Any more goodies out here? No, I think we've come far enough. But this is such a beautiful game. <laughs> I'll try not to make you all too dizzy with my... <laughs> with my moving the camera around. I think that's going to be like the hardest part about recording this episode is just uh, not making everyone dizzy. Those are just plants, Kate. Good. With uh, doing camera rotations. I will do my best. <laughs> okay. So, of course, we want some tools. So, let's make ourselves that axe. Okay. And we'll need a pickaxe as well. Do we have access to this as well? Of course, we <laughs> need to remember how all the controls work. Okay, let's see if we can make ourselves that furnace. 10 stone, 10 wood, yes. Okay, with relevant part equipped, aim at the silhouette of the construct, then press to place it. The assembly station control can be used to view material requirements or cancel the construction. Parts can be installed or recovered when standing near the construct silhouette, then pressing. With all the parts in place, press to pick the item up. We are going to blow Presley away with our mad skill here. <laughs> we are going to get this all taken care of and he is going to be in awe of our insanely good skill and just knowing that we need this stuff. Because <laughs> the first time around, oops, that was definitely one of the things that, oh, there we go not used to all the differences between all of the games I'm playing at the moment. This one's always been a bit of an adjustment because the controls aren't quite what I expect them to be. Okay, let's head to the com Commerce Guild. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at everyone walking around. So yeah, I think I'll do a couple, I'll probably break the bridge into a couple episodes. I think that'll be the easiest for me to tackle. Pip, nice to see you. How are you settling in? Very well. Great. Let me introduce you to the Commerce Guild. We're the organization that orchestrates trade across the entire Free Cities region. This is the Porsche branch. We're pretty busy throughout the year. Now then, let me give you your builder's test. This is pretty easy. Make an axe and pickaxe and bring them to me. You'll need to have wood and stones to make these. You can gather them on your own or buy them from the total tools in Central Square. After you have the raw materials, you'll need to craft the items on a work table. I saw your pa's old one in your yard, so check and see if that still works. Good news, Presley, it still works. Excellent quality, nicely done. You can keep them. I just wanted to see what you can do. Now, for the second test, you are to build a stone furnace. That one's a bit tougher. You'll need to use the assembly station in your yard to complete this task. If I remember correctly, your pa kept a very detailed account of the things he made. You might want to flip through his workshop handbook again and see if you can find a diagram for some of the for the stone furnace. Once you have a diagram, just use it on the assembly station in your yard to start construction. Guess what, Presley? Great job, you pass. This is your builder's license, congratulations. Now you just need to take this license over to the mayor's office and get your workshop registered, after which you can start taking regular commissions. Come back and talk with me after you register. Okay, let's head over to the mayor's office. 
I'm thinking I probably should have done like a little bit of just messing around to play with this just to get me used to the controls again. Oh, pretty butterflies. But we'll see how well this goes. It'll be fun. Gail, how are you? Welcome, welcome. You must be Pip. I'm Gail, the mayor of this town. It is truly wonderful to see young people getting involved in the telesis of our society. I'm here to register my workshop. Very well. What is the name of your workshop? Since we don't get a pet right away, our workshop shall be our trusty dog, Luna. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> okay, perfect. Luna, nice name. There, your registration is complete. Thank you. Also, we're going to have a fireside town meeting once in a while. They'll be announced through the mail. Try to make them if you can. You don't want me being the only one there. <laughs> I will cover town and world events at large. The usual, you know? Okay, perfect. We are well on our way here. I like our pink hair. I thought we'd be a little different this time. <laughs> Move away from a standard hair color just to have a little extra fun with our special episode here. Hello, Presley. We made it back. Oh, we leveled up. You're now a bona fide workshop owner. Your pa would have been so proud. Let me explain some of the processes of our trade. Here at the Porsche office, we post workshop commissions every day on the board over there. Based on the speed and quality of the results, we make a ranking of the workshops every week listed on the wall behind me. There are other workshops in Porsche. Oh yes, adding yours, there will be five workshops in our jurisdiction. Besides the ranking list, you have a workshop rating, which is listed on your license. The higher your rating, the higher quality of the commissions you can get. But don't worry, if you have your father's work ethic, you'll be number one in no time. Once you're done with your orders, you can pick up the commission fee from Anton, if it's the guild or the respective person who commissioned you. Builders make the most of their money from doing commissions through the Commerce Guild, but some just build items and sell directly to the market. Oops, sorry guys, I skipped over that. Anyway, this is your first commission. I've kept one just for you. Plain favorites, are we? Higgins, you already took one today. There are never too many commissions. Good day. That Runt, he's the owner of the current number one workshop. Brilliant businessman, but I don't like the way he does things. Well, I'm sorry, that was our last one today. Oh, hey press, I've got a job for you. Or not. <laughs> what is it, Arlo? We're looking to build a bridge to Amber Island. So, the mayor finally put up the money. Well, young Pip here is up for the challenge. Yeah, he figured that place could be a real tourist attraction with the haunted cave and all. Pip, check your pa's workshop handbook to see if he has a bridge diagram in there. I remember he built a bunch. If it's there, use it at your assembly station. After you're done with the bridge pieces, you'll need to go to the designated spot and assemble the bridge. Also, this is important. For a project as big as a bridge, you'll probably need to dive into the abandoned ruins to gather material. We have one such ruin in Portia. It's located at the bottom of the temple. Perfect. So we are just well on our way here. What do we got for commissions? Three talismans. Okay. <clears throat> Two small chair. Eight charcoal. Ooh, that's going to be a lot of wood. Let's try this one. I think it'll be mostly stone. We'll see. You know, I was feeling fine, and then I start recording, and now all of a sudden, I'm starting to lose my voice. I'm like, isn't that how it goes? So yeah, I'll break this into a couple chunks. Our goal will be to get the bridge constructed, and then once we get to another 50 subscribers, we'll take on the next big challenge in Porsche. 
let's hang up our license in the house here. And then I think our first order of business will be getting our house all nice and fixed up. There we go. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to open. Oh, that's fighting. There we go, menu. <laughs> okay, let's add a skill point. Uh, experience gained increase. Okay, that would be handy. And stamina decrease would also be pretty handy. Uh, I think we'll take this for now just to see if we can guarantee that we get our house all fixed up today. Okay, let's get our axe selected here. And let's start chopping some stuff down because I do believe this takes quite a bit of wood. And we'll probably need to make a chest too <laughs> because we're not going to be able to afford. Now, this is kind of cool because in my time at Porsche, you actually pay to unlock inventory slots. So you actually get quite a bit here. It's just a matter of having to pay right in your inventory to unlock them, which is definitely different than other games where you usually have to go and buy a backpack upgrade or provide material for it or something like that. This one we actually just unlock straight in our inventory. Dun, da, da. So yeah, we'll get all this stuff hopefully chopped down, all the wood we can get because we'll also need wood to use our stone furnace because that is the uh, fuel that it needs to run. Here we go. Kind of excited. We can even uh, venture into some of the festivals here too because those are really interesting. We can do a little bit of the fishing festival if we <laughs> construct ourselves a fishing rod. <laughs> oh good, we got another level up so we should take full advantage of that too. Back to our character and Oops, make sure we're on the right thing. Okay, we're going to reduce it by 50. So I think we'll get these two kind of going pretty good here. And then we'll probably start working on the extra 5 experience. Or 5% experience. Because uh, that will help us level up way faster. Skill trees are always quite interesting. Because you have to figure out where your priorities lie. So you can get the most out of your options there. Okay, we've got 78. Let's go see if that will fix up our house. Uh, there we go. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I can jump. <clears throat> and if that fixes up our house there, we can start getting some stone and really go to town on this. Use three wood to fix the gap. Yes, please. We want a good night's sleep. Oh, look at all those gaps. Another three wood. We can do that. Another spot over here. 10 wood this time. Yeah, this gets quite pricey, doesn't it? And how much will this take? 20 wood. Okay. All the gaps have been fixed. I'm finally going to have a good night's sleep. Oh, that is cause for celebration. Okay, and we still have some stamina left, so why don't we start breaking some stone? And we should check and see what it is going to take to do our commission here. We need marble. Okay, so we can get that from breaking stone. Oh my goodness, we really got lots of wood, but that's okay because we do need to craft ourselves a chest because one of my big issues is this inventory fills up so fast, especially when we start going into the abandoned ruins. There we go. We are officially out. <laughs> out of energy for the day. Okay, let's pop our furnace down here. And what are we going to need for this bridge? Let's take a quick little peek here. Uh, let's go. Oh, right, here we go. Oh, that wasn't quite what I had intended to do. We are going to cancel that. Thank you. 
Okay. Oh, we're going to need so many things. Okay, so we're going to be needing copper pipe and some bronze plates and some brick. Oh my. Hardwood planks. Okay, so we're going to need a civil cutter. So we'll need copper blades for that. And we're also going to need a grinder. <laughs> okay. So we don't have any copper or anything, so let's make ourselves a chest before I forget because that will <laughs> that will cause us to have issues later if we don't have something like that going. One chest, I think we will survive with that for now. And we'll just plunk it down here, nice and convenient for us. Is there any junk that we don't really need? Let's move this for now. Okay. And let's go to bed and see how tomorrow goes. And a new day begins. Okay, let's go and see what kind of chaos we can get ourselves into today. Okay, so I think the first order of business... Oh, should we open this? Oh, I want to say they're like boxing gloves, so I think we'll just leave those alone for right now. I would like to break some things over here. Oh, we need a better pickaxe for that. I wonder, are we going to be... Oh, there's some marble. I was going to say, we need marble for, <laughs> for those talismans, so we better hope we can actually break this open. I know the other stones you definitely get marble in. So we'll just break some of these little ones and see if we can get all the marble that we need. I'm so sorry. I'm so stuffed up. I spent uh, yesterday all outside and I don't know if it's just allergies or what, but <laughs> oh, it's just never fun. Don't want to spend all of our energy out here doing this. We do want to get into a rune and do some diving. But we also don't want to fail our commission because it is our very first one. And there's just a couple left. Oh my goodness, I hear ducks. <laughs> okay, any more chances for marble? I don't know, these little teeny tiny ones don't really seem to hand out the marble. It seems like they need to be like a bigger size. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> Try not to make you guys dizzy. Okay, so we have nine marble, so hopefully that will be enough. <clears throat> Definitely got lots of stone, and I think we needed some stone bricks for our bridge so we can get those going while we head into the mines. Oh, we have mail. Oh my, from Anton. Hey Builder, at the end of the week, we need qualified people to inspect these products. To coordinate with this, to coordinate with this, we will not post any regular commissions during the weekend, but feel free to turn them in. Hello new Builder, we like to remind you that Porsche currently has two authorized runes for you to dive in. An abandoned rune number one below the Church of the Light and a hazardous ruins in the collapsed wasteland east of town. For your own safety, all other ruins are currently off limits. Thank you. Hey new builder, I have a manly commission for you to help you get settled in. You feeling it? I am in need of three copper blades for some of my furniture. I expect nothing but macho quality, okay? Also, if you don't have one already, you'll need a grinder to create these blades. That's all I know about builder stuff. Hey builder, I just wanted to inform you that the civil corps of Portia can take some commissions from you when it comes to gathering materials from hazardous ruins. You can post a commission on our commission board in the civil corps building at the north end of town. There are some guidelines on the board that you should read before posting a commission. That's all, Arlo. <clears throat> okay, so that's quite a bit. 
can we craft these? Oh, good. We can. We only need three of them. Okay. No, we don't want the max there. Three. Perfect. Now, let's start getting this going. We're going to need to refuel. Oh, goodness. We're going to need more wood already. So, we'll get those going. Probably going to need to make ourselves yet another stone furnace because we're going to need copper and bronze as well. Hello, tree. <laughs> okay. Use a little energy, but not too much energy. How much do we have? I. Oh, now we don't have enough stone. Okay, we'll have more stone by the time we get back from our little mine dive exploration. And let's move the stuff we don't need. I'm going to clean up our inventory as much as possible before we go into the ruins here. Now, I think it was Arlo we needed to find for that commission. Or are we just handing it in to Anton? Hey there, Presley. Let's see what we have for commissions today. Two catfish. Oh goodness, we don't even have a fishing rod yet. Copper plates. Four wooden storages. Oh my goodness, that would take so much wood. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do the cat. Oh. Oh, we can't accept it because we still have one on the go. Okay, we need to hand that one in. Okay, I'm kind of thinking there should be... Oh, he's way over there. Okay, that's fine. Let's go grab him. <laughs> we want to be able to make ourselves some money so we can actually be able to purchase some of the things that we need. This is where we need that air skip. You're going to want a fishing rod, aren't you? Hey there, I'm Kiwa, the smallest of the Hulu brothers. There are seven of us, so it'll probably take a while to get used to it. Haha. <laughs> hey, you're the new builder, right? I'm Kiwa. I love to fish, but a big one broke my fishing rod yesterday. Can you make me a new one? Sure. Thank you, thank you. Now, pretty sure we were able to take our time with that one, so... Is he like running around? Oh, he's on a horse. A <laughs> uh, little glitchy there. Thanks. If you run into any trouble, don't hesitate to ask our civil court for help. There we go. Our first commission done. So let's go snag another one and then we will head into the ruins there. Um, weren't, didn't we just see you, like, at the other end of town? Interesting. Now, I think that exclamation mark is actually the mayor, and he's wanting us to go around town to meet all of the vendors. Which is great, we will get to that. The only problem is, is that when we meet all the vendors with that quest, we end up getting a bunch of stuff in our inventory, and I'm not quite ready for that yet. <laughs> So we are just going to go head on into the abandoned ruins and see what we can find in there. We want to keep our energy <laughs> as high up as we can for this quest. Oh, I've already run past it. <laughs> hey there, first time rune diving? Yep. Alrighty, let me explain then. All the ruins and the Alliance of Free Cities are regulated by the civil courts. To enter the ruins, you'll need to pay a weekly maintenance fee, but we'll give you a 60% discount the first time. When you enter, I'll give you the jetpack and scanner. They're very handy ancient relics. Mining for resources becomes a lot easier when you have these equipped. When you come out, we'll need them back since they're very rare. This one beside me is an abandoned ruin. No monsters or robots in there, just resources and relics like power stones. 
anything you find in the ruins are yours to keep. Unless they're ancient weapons, then we're supposed to hand them over to the church for destruction. Okay, I'm done. Have fun and be safe in there. Uh, yes. All right, aim. Okay. Um, are they telling me the buttons to push? Because that's usually my struggle is the buttons. <laughs> okay, so this is a nice big area of copper. So let's go. And let's see if we can get our scanner going here. Oh, there we go. I was like, one of these buttons will be the right one. So we'll just lock on, and then we'll head towards it, and hopefully we get something good out of it. Oh, and this is where we're going to start getting some stone. <laughs> this is always the hard part, because it's like, do we want to... <laughs> Do we want to go for all the orbs and hope we get some good treasure, or... Do we just want to grab the copper because we know we need it? But we do need other things like, um, what is it, old parts or something like that too, in order to make our grinder and stuff. Okay, so two old parts, a small engine, and a power stone. That is pretty good. Oh, there's another one right here. And this is the problem because it's just like we suddenly get Oh, into the copper, yes. Suddenly get uh, on the path of finding all the orbs. Okay, so I think that is part of an old relic. So not nearly as exciting for us. Let's see if we can just kind of stay in this copper vein here. <laughs> That's always the challenge. It's like we want the ore, but we also want to get more of the parts because they're hard to get outside of the mine, so we do need to go for them. Oh, more good stuff. Perfect. That's exactly what we want to see. Uh, that one looks like it might still be in the copper area. <laughs> I like how this is our choices here. Oh, maybe not. We could use like another level up here so we can get our pickaxe as good as our axe. We're just like chewing through our energy so quickly. Oh, an old talker piece that didn't even feel worth it. I mean, one of these days we will. I'm trying to think, have I ever completed the museum in Portia? I'm not sure that I have. The relics always get me because they're so hard to find because you need several pieces and then you have to assemble them and then they can go into the museum. Oh, that's another one. Okay. You're not too far away. We're getting quite low on stamina, so I might actually pop us out of here and just go back to grabbing straight copper. Yep, the relics are everywhere, okay. So if we pop open our map, we can just go right to the mine entrance. And I think we'll just play around in that nice big area of copper here. Because <clears throat> we do need a bunch of copper ore and we're going to need some tin too. Because that'll help us get our bronze bars going. No, nope, we don't want sand. <laughs> Not in the mood for sand yet. And just like that, we are officially out of stamina. There we go. Woo, jetpack. <laughs> okay, let's head out. Now, with any luck, we should be able to craft ourselves a second stone furnace. Of course, I don't know. Do we have enough? 
No, we can't chop it all the way down. I was hopeful. Oh, what's in here? Oops. Ooh, dried apple slices. So we can actually eat those for some energy. So why don't we do that? Uh, let's use them. Wonderful. That will definitely help. So now we can chop some extra wood. And we're definitely going to need it. Because we need to be able to fuel all these furnaces we're going to build. Oh, perfect. That is another skill point for us. So let's max out this pickaxe here. Oh, yeah. What is going on here? Yes, we have a skill point we want to spend. Oh, let's just go back into it here. Is it like glitched out or something? Let's see. There we go, a little glitched out. Okay, yeah, we need to chop down some more little trees here. And then we also need to find, what is it, like a silk cocoon, I think, for those fishing rods. Oops. Actually help if we use our tool on something. <laughs> oh goodness. There we go. So the silk cocoons like to hide out in these really big tall trees and in order to get them, we could chop the tree down but we definitely don't have an ax good enough for that so we can kick it instead. And if we're really lucky, we will get some stuff to fall out of the tree. But the only bad part about this is that it does use stamina. Look at that wild cocoon. Here we go. And then we can only kick a tree so many times too, and then it'll stop giving us stuff. We're out of stamina now. Okay, so we'll have to go and see if we have enough cocoons to make two fishing rods because we have one for a quest and we need emperor catfish, you know, I'm pretty sure it just said catfish, but hopefully that is what the catfish are just called. <laughs> oh, look at that. He's already looking for his fishing rod. <laughs> Should we go see if we can craft it? Uh, okay. Beginner fishing rod. Oh, we need copper bars to be able to do that. Okay. Well, we need to make ourselves at least one more furnace here. So let's get that going. Uh, yes. Oh goodness, me and my buttons. <laughs> uh, one of these days, I'll get it all figured. Oops. We want to move it down there. Place and place. Okay, so that'll be one more furnace for us. Okay, let's get ourselves some copper going here. And I think we'll just grab these for now and go into here. We'll refuel and then we'll switch over to bronze because we're gonna be needing that here right away. Okay, so I think that is about as good as we're gonna get tonight. I guess we could maybe wait. Oh, those might take a while. We can craft in the morning. All right, everyone. Well, I think that is going to be us for this little bit of an episode. Like I said, I'll just keep releasing every once in a while until we get that bridge complete. And then once we hit another 50 subscribers, we'll take on the next big Porsche storyline challenge. All right. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time.